All right, Gadgeteers. Well, I was happily working on my Lenovo Yoga 2 video that I was going to get ready, the review I had for you. And uh, I ran into a couple of problems, unfortunately, as you can see on my Dell 5675. I'm booted into Windows right now. And I also have my backup computer here, which is my Lenovo laptop. And I'm going to have to finish the edit on my laptop because for some reason, this Dell computer down here uh, has decided to start rebooting itself and hard locking. Now, it just so happens to coincide with doing a update in Linux. So I did a Linux update and I rebooted and I came in here and I started working and I've had a lot of problems since then. And I'm wondering if it has to do with the installation of the patch for uh, Meltdown and the other bug, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, the two big bugs that are out there that are in our Intel processors. Even though this is an AMD processor, there are some updates. So uh, I'm thinking the video is going to be delayed and I do apologize. I wanted to have it out tonight for you guys. But I got to figure out what's going on with the system. And you might be wondering, but Mark, why are you booting into Windows? Well, here's what I'm thinking. If it's truly a hardware issue, then basically I should be having hard locks and issues like that in Windows as well. So what I'm going to do is use something like Prime95 or some other stress tester and stress out the system in Windows and see what happens. Now, when I was in Linux, I really wasn't stressing it out all that much. I was editing video and it requires some playback, but it's just using VLC to do playback, so it should be pretty basic. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm hoping that I do not see the hard locks here in Windows. But here's the thing, when I booted up Windows on both my laptop here and my Dell PC, so I, you know, rebooted the system and switched over to Windows, it ran a huge number of updates and even did the welcome, we're getting your computer ready for you, blah, 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 nonsense. So <laughs> I don't know, you know, I might have the patches installed in Windows now. So yeah, I don't really know how it's going to behave. You know, it if it does hard lock, it might be caused by software too. So I may end up um, clearing off one or the other installation either Windows 10 which would be the one I'd like to do most off most of all or possibly Linux and starting from scratch again because I need to be able to edit so this is really a bummer I have not updated my laptop with Linux updates and I'm definitely gonna wait because I did something very smart the minute I started having problems I grabbed a portable hard drive and I backed up all the media <clears throat> for the um, video that I'm editing. And I backed up the Caden Live uh, video file. So I have everything backed up here. This is my what I call a Winix backup because it's got Windows and Linux stuff on it. It's an NTFS drive. So I can just plug it into this laptop here and I can finish the edit there. I'm about, I'd say, two-thirds of the way through. So quite a bit of work to do yet, and I was having a lot of fun. So I'm really kind of hoping I can just get back to it on my Dell, but I don't know, guys. I'm going to send this video up right away, so don't mind all my uh, ums and ahs and pauses and all that junk. My wife's uh, very sick with the flu, and we went and saw the doctor, and he prescribed both of us this stuff, which is generic for Tamiflu, and I'm pretty sure I've just got hit the edge of the flu, so, you know, well, hopefully this will help out, and I can just get back on my feet and get to work again, because I have a lot of fun doing this stuff, and I don't want to let you guys down. I like spinning out a video at least every other day. That was my 
hope anyway that at a minimum I could have at least four videos a week, three to four videos a week. So I'll send this one up and apologies again for the snafu. I'll keep it posted if it is a hardware problem. I think it's already been two weeks, 14 days. So that means I got to call Dell support. Oh joy. And when I do that, if I need to do that, I'll make sure I record it so you guys can follow the Odyssey with me and make your own decisions on whether or not you want to buy a Dell in the future. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.